Hello and a warm welcome to Pharma IT Training Services. I will essentially be walking you through a cost-effective way of generating student reports with Google Sheets without incurring any extra cost on the purchase of new software. This presentation um, will take the form of uh, me explaining how the Google Docs will be used to create the template, how Google Sheets will be utilized by teachers for the entry of their scores, and finally, how these reports will be generated and sent directly to the emails of parents or guardians. And this is going to take about seven minutes, 36 seconds, and we should be done with the demonstration. The first thing you do is for you to submit a copy of the reports that you're currently using. So this is a sample that we have designed for the purposes of this de demonstration. But if it happens that your school follows the same particular format, then it makes our work easier. So this is the final output, and we intend to use this template to generate the report for all the students. So copies of subject-related sheets will be made available to all teachers, starting from English language, mathematics, through to creative arts. So there's a copy of it. So if it's English language, we'll make sure we populate this side of the sheet with a list of students in that particular class. So an example is, let's say, the PP, Faroma, Robin, Ama, Soma, Robin, Anna, Anna, Robin. So in week one, if you conducted an assessment and the total was 30, you just put a 30 there. So out of 30, what did Fifi get? So maybe probably he got 25, Amma got 29, and I got 30. And you do the same for, let's say, week two. If week two, you did not do any assessment, you can do week three. What was the total? It was of 10. Maybe this is a five, that is a four, that is a six. So assuming you finish filling all the weeks for that particular term, the system automatically calculates the 40%, which is um, shown at this particular column. Then the exam is over 100. So what did the first students get? Let's say it was 80. The second student got, let's say, 78 and let's say 95. So as soon as you do the entries, automatically it calculates and gives you the remarks position in the rank. So teachers don't need to worry their heads about the calculation of the 40, 60, 100% and all of that. So they just need to concentrate on filling in the scores. That is exactly what they should concentrate on doing. So that's for English language. So we're going to do the same for mathematics. I come to mathematics. Let's say I paste, then maybe week one, it was over 60. So you have to, all the teachers will be responsible for managing their individual sheets. Then we just keep populating the list. So you do it for all the subjects. And as you continue to do that, the master template will be collecting the data. So we fill, we fill for English language. So I, I just have to go to English language and it's there. If I need to go back to my dashboard, then I go to mathematics, I click, and it's there. So whatever has been entered in math, so if I come to mathematics, I can enter, okay, 55, uh, 30, 55. So let's say 60. Then I go all the way to the exam score, which is 100. So 78, 89, 69. And that gives these grades A, A plus and B plus. So the reading system does not conform to what we have, we can always make changes. So if I'm to go back to the master template, you see automatically it shows here. So after we've collected all the data from the various subject teachers, then we use that to generate the report. So I'll go ahead and fill for 
all the subjects, just one or two, and later give you the final, you know, output. So I just want you to take note of this. So this is for math, A, A plus, B plus. Then for English language, we have B plus, B plus, A plus. So just take note of that. And let's see when we finish generating, we would have those same values. Now that all entries have been made, let's quickly take a look at it. And I want you to maybe write it down so that when you generate the report, you can compare what you've written down. Okay. So these are for Fifi, Ama, and Nana. That is for English language. B plus, B plus, A plus. You go to mathematics, it is A, A plus, and B plus. You go to integrated science, B plus, B, B plus. Religious and moral education, B plus, A, A. Ghanaian language, B, B plus, B plus then um, computing b a plus a french we have a a plus a plus our world our people a a plus a physics uh, physical education i beg your pardon a a plus a and creative art b plus a plus a so we're going to look how the final report will turn out by sending it directly to parents email address which in this case you will use our email address fitgh at gmail.com so let's see how this report will be sent to parent email address so i've initiated the command and we should soon see the report being sent so fifi report just came in so you're waiting for the address so you can see from here and we can open to see our final result b plus a b plus b plus b b a a a a b plus it gives you the grand total it gives you the average score and whatever the teacher selected present 40 absent 5 attitude and everything is there nice and easy if i go back to my email i should see that of ama so that is essentially it so if you want to sign up uh we are more than capable of getting you on board our team will be on standby to help you with it so it gives you the position in class the class the name of the student and everything so just get us your template we will design it and you know make the work of your teachers easy when it comes to creating reports you don't need to print you just get email addresses you send it saves you cost on purchasing you know a4 papers a4. So spending the time with me to understand how google sheets and doors can be leveraged to generate student reports no need to purchase any software we're going to make use of what is available and you just need to pay a sign up fee then we will help you generate a report for your entire school it'll be about two thousand three thousand students we've got you covered